one of the greatest battles that Christians are fighting right now is the battle that's fought in the mind. And it really has to do with fear. So today I want to give you a short little word encouraging you to not entertain fear. I want to start off with Psalms 34, 1 through 5. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise will continuously be in my mouth. I will glory in the Lord. Let the afflicted hear and rejoice. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he answered me and he delivered me from all of my fears. Now that's an incredible scripture. He delivered me from all of my fears. David was an amazing musician, but he was also a very mighty, powerful warrior. And I love studying his life because I think a lot of of what David goes through is a lot what, you know, Christians go through. He had a promise. He had a relationship with God, but he went through some pretty dark seasons before he ever became king. You know, it, it just wasn't always easy. Let's look at Isaiah 26, 1 through 4. In that day, a song will be sung in the land. And I personally love this because it's about singing and about a song. Um, We have a strong city. God makes salvation its walls and its ramparts. Do you know your greatest defensive weapon that you have is your salvation? It's the wall around you that enables you to walk in a in a a place of protection. Your salvation is precious. And because of that, and because of now who is in you, you have the ability to walk in a very dark and troubled world that is often filled with fear. That is your greatest defensive weapon, who you are in Christ. You are an overcomer. He has come in you to give you peace and give you victory. Let's keep going here. Open the gates that the righteous nation may enter, the nation that keeps faith. You will keep in perfect peace whose mind is steadfast because he trusts in you. Perfect peace, not fear. Perfect peace because the mind trusts in God. Listen, there is so much craziness on the web right now. It, I, you know, I have a very difficult job. I bet you do too. And your world is spinning at times. But God wants to keep you in this perfect peace that He promised. Trust in the Lord forever. The Lord, He is the rock eternal. You know, when you walk in peace, you can walk because of of what you carry in you. Not because of you, but because who you belong to and who you are in him. You know, in the natural, there's a lot of things I can't do. But I know that God that's in me can do more and something better than I could have ever imagined or thought. I love this portion out of 1 Samuel, and it's 1 Samuel 21. And here is King David. He's killed Goliath. And the the armies of Israel are just enamored with what an incredible warrior, wise warrior this guy is, you know. But he went through a very, very dark time when he was being chased through the desert by King Saul. And Saul was out to kill him and destroy him. Saul was tormented. He had known the presence of God and The presence of God lifted and now he was tormented and he was coming after David. David couldn't figure out, why is he chasing me? You know, why does he want to kill me? Have you ever been through something in your walk with Jesus that just doesn't make sense? Like, why is this happening? Or, God, I got this prophetic promise and now I'm going through this. Why hasn't it come to pass? Well, God has us all on a journey. And that journey, we're walking it all out. And I can tell you firsthand that my timing is not always God's timing. It's his timing. And he knows best. And he's positioning and putting things in place and in purpose in my life. 
and I have to trust him. Sometimes you have to walk through some very difficult things, just like King David. I sought the Lord and he answered me and he delivered me from all of my fears. Isn't that a beautiful promise? Let me read that again. I sought the Lord and he answered me. He delivered me from all of my fears. God is good and he wants to walk through the difficulty, the crisis with you. The greatest testimony that you have isn't that you've had an easy life or that everything has necessarily been glorious. The greatest testimony that we have is that when we've walked through something very difficult, he's there. We walked through something and we came out on the other side and he delivered me from my fears. Why? Because I trusted in him. David didn't become a king overnight. David wasn't promoted to a, a position of leadership where he, he ruled the nation. No, he went through a very, very dark, troubled season in the desert, being chased by Saul, who wanted to kill him. And he didn't always understand why. Why? But God did something in his heart in the middle of it. God did something tangible in his life. He delivered him from his fears and he walked in a position of trust. Did the prophetic promise come to pass? Yes, it did. He became king. Did God have his way with David's life? Yes. Did he walk through difficulty getting to that place? Yes. Hang on to your prophetic promises. Hang on to the, the words that have been birthed in you, things that have been spoken over your life or your family or your children or your grandchildren. They will come to pass. Don't be moved by what's happening right now. Don't be moved by what you see in the natural. Trust him. He's good. He's going to walk you out. You're going to get to the other side. Why? Not because of what you have or you, but because of what is in you. He loves you, he has a plan, and he will deliver you. I think we should all stand on this promise today. It's one I need to speak over myself. And he delivered me from all of my fears. Wow, what a good scripture. Thank you for listening. Have a beautiful day.